In this section we're going to be working on a simple gothic arch. What we'll do is create a plane 3D, make sure it's in edit mode and that you have wireframe turned on. In your tool palette scroll down to initialize. For the H divide and the V divide you're going to want to set this down to the number 3. This is going to give you a nice line in the middle so that we're working with a symmetrical plane. And then at this point convert it into a poly mesh and then redraw that back onto the canvas. So now let's add a little bit more resolution by dividing it. But you can see if we divide with smooth turned on, the edges kind of crease in a little bit. We want to make sure that we keep these square edges. So we'll turn smooth off under the geometry next to the divide button. And we'll divide a few times so that we can get a nice high resolution so that we can carve in some nice details. So what we'll do now is carve a circular element into this plane using radial symmetry. So let's dock our transform palette. Click activate symmetry and you notice that there's an R here. We're going to click on the R to activate the radial symmetry and next to R is a slider which will give us multiple points for our radial symmetry. Let's choose the simple or I'm sorry the single layer brush and then now we can carve in a circular element on this surface. We're just going to make a single kind of circle here and then on top of that we can make a secondary circle so we'll carve our first one in and then right on top of that we'll carve another layer. And you can experiment with this as much as you want. I suggest that you kind of come up with different patterns, but we're kind of coming up with the overall architecture of the arch. And in a moment when we stretch it out, you'll see what we're doing here. Switch over to the inflate brush, and that's going to allow us to kind of round out the top of this carving a little bit. I'll turn up the radio count a little bit, and then we'll just kind of go over what we've already done. And you're going to notice that's going to round the surface a little bit more. So we get a straight edge and then kind of a rounded top, which is going to help sell our architectural element that we're working on. So you can see with just those two brushes, we were able to achieve a nice shape of something that looks kind of like a picture frame or maybe something you'd set a mirror into. And what we want to do is add some ornaments around um, this picture frame that we've created. So we'll switch over to the simple brush, the drag stroke, and let's import another uh, pattern for an alpha. Maybe you've created a pattern like this in Illustrator or downloaded from the internet. We'll dock that alpha palette and blur it just a little bit so again we don't have too sharp of a pattern on the surface. And turn your radial count just down a little bit. We don't want to have as many points as we did when we were sculpting the circles. And if we just click and drag onto the surface you'll notice that we just kind of create that nice little pattern of that alpha that we imported. So now let's take a moment to disable radial symmetry, so just click on that R again. And we're going to just simply turn back on our X symmetry because this plane is symmetrical in X. And we'll click drag holding control over the bottom of this and then invert that by again holding control and clicking on the canvas. Now if you click the move option and then draw your transpose line, you can then stretch out the bottom of this going from a circle now to more of this doorway arc that we're trying to create. So to remove the arc at the bottom of the door, we're going to make sure that we have everything isolated but the bottom, again using masking. And we're going to scroll down to our deformations pull down, open that up, and we're going to work with size. In this case, we're going to click only Z, and we're going to scroll that down, and you notice when we do, we've actually removed and kind of squished everything down so that we don't have that arc at the bottom, and we're just left with an arch. So again, very simple techniques to create uh, architectural elements that look much more complex. So right now what we want to do is remove the polygon plane from the background of this arch and the way we'll do that is by masking everything that we want to keep. So we'll draw a mask over the front of this architectural element and then we will simply paint in a mask in the other areas that uh, we want to keep. So we'll hold down the control key. I will go back to just a regular stroke here in my stroke palette. And then while holding control, I'll just continue painting this in so we can keep this doorway area as well. Make sure you get all the points. And once you have the areas that you want to keep masked in your tool palette, you'll notice you have a drop down called masking. If you open that up, you're going to have an option here called hide PT. 
Once you click on that, you'll be able to hide everything. You can bring it back by clicking the option next to it, Show PT, but for right now we'll just click Hide PT and now that's removed. So now that we have the archway completed, let's save that out and move on to the next element.